Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everybody. Um, now come back again with our class Bahasa Inggris 1. Uh, last week we have already uh, have our middle test. Now we have the half of the semester before we will face our final examination next on December probably. So uh, let's start our program this morning by reciting Al Fatiha together. May our God Allah Subhanahu wa Taala always blesses us in this world till hereafter. Al Fatiha. I mean, all right. Now we are enter in meeting eight with unit seven in our book interchange with the title the world we live in when we talk about this title the world we live in of course we have to save our world and then since the world it's begin until now uh, there are so many happen and change uh, especially for the climate and also the weather and it will be different so of course, as human being, our job is to keep our environments as good as possible because we have to save our world or our environment for the next future, for our uh, family for the next. So we don't have to take a long time, let's we come to the next slide. So this is our expected outcomes course for study for this meeting. And the indicators after we finish on our end of this lesson, so all of you can describe some serious environmental problems and for the grammar that we will learn for these sessions is talk about passive with prepositions. So all of you, when we watch this video, please you have to bring and follow your book, your interchange, and please open your book on page 44. Now we come to the first snapshot, or we can talk about state your opinion. Uh, you have already watched the box, about yeah there is a uh, many garbage over there and one truck i think this is like a mountain of the garbage yeah and then every day we always make uh, or we have product produce many kind of the garbage in this world so the title is about talk about waste not or one not so there are some alarming facts, like we talk about in Americans, yeah? Americans people, I mean the people of the America, they make 75 million photocopies every minute. And the second, they throw away 2.5 million plastic bottles every hour. And they get rid of 30, thousand cars every day they also dispose of 49 million baby deepers every day and they receive 4 million tons of junk mail every year so this is not email but the mail so they use the paper and they use 65 billion aluminum cans every year and they last they throw out 20, oh, sorry, two, 20, uh, 700 million tires every year. And we can got this source from w.cleanair.org. And then we, how we think, the first is, which of the things above seem the most wasteful? Because uh, when we have some regions of many kind of the problems here, 
some of them need a long time to reduce. Jadi ada beberapa yang memang mendaur ulangnya butuh waktu yang lama sekali. And you can think that if we throw the plastic, so for example, how the world, how the sand, or how our environment, they can reduce the plastic. So we, we have to avoid the plastic. And I think you have every, uh, sorry, you, you ever know about the information about the, in, in the sea, jadi ada ikan paus yang terdampar, and when they open their body, they found many plastic inside of the fish itself. Jadi menemukan plastik di dalam uh, ikan paus tersebut. Nah, ya. And then the second, what do you throw away? What do you tend to recy recycle? Uh, start from now, I think we have to put our garbage, for example, after we eating or after we buy something, we have to put into the right place. Of course, into the garbage, for example. And we don't have to throw like in the river. Just now we come to the rainy season. So this is probably make it the flood. So we have to be avoid to throw our garbage anyway. And what are two other environmental problems that concern you? So we can compare with our country in Indonesia, how the discipline of the person of Indonesia talking about or keeping the environmental as good as possible. Okay, so you can discuss by you yourself or your friends about the first of our uh, material. And we go to the next. So our, we are going to listen about clean up our city. We are going to listen to an announcement from an election campaign. It seems with our country, some of the city or the district, they will have the elections of like the lead of the city, like wali kota or bupati, or it can be governor in some of the area. So sometimes they bring some of the recommendations or some of promising, memberikan beberapa janji-janji, if you choose me, I will be blah, 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 blah. So what kinds of problems does Roberta Chang want to fix? So Roberta Chang is the one of the uh, being election campaign. Okay? So we are going to listen. Here we go. Interchange, fourth edition, by Jack C. Richards with Jonathan Hull and Susan Proctor. This class audio program contains recordings that correspond to Level 3 students' book. Published by Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyrighted. CD 2. Unit 7. The World We Live In. Page 44, Exercise 2. Perspectives. Clean up our city. Part A. Listen to an announcement from an election campaign. What kinds of problems does Roberta Chang want to fix? Vote for Roberta Chang, City Council. Roberta Chang will clean up Cradville. Have you noticed these problems in our city? The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Potholes aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. The homeless have been displaced from city shelters because of overcrowding. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. Our city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Our fresh water supply is being depleted through overuse by people who don't conserve. A vote for Roberta Chang is a vote for solutions. Okay, so that's all about our listening for perspective. So you can repeat many times. 
and then please find about what kind of the problems does Roberta Chang want to fix it. So there are six here in the box and which one is the best answer. And then for B, which of these problems affect your city? Can you give specific examples? So we can compare with our city like in Malang or maybe you stay in at your city or at your home. We can compare. Maybe there is uh, some of the problems happening with the Roberta Chang's uh, in, their, in that city. Okay, now we go to the next. We talk about today, we talk about the grammar focus with the title passive with pro prepositions. So uh, I want to describe about the sentence, the kind of the sentence, the type of the sentence here, there are two types of the sentence. The first is active statement and the second is passive. Active means that like in Bahasa, saya makan nasi, saya pergi, so the object here is the doer of the activity. But like I eat rice, here it's the active, and we want to make it into passive. So the object rice, we change to into the subject. So rice is eaten by me. The, the meaning is, is the same, but yeah, only the doer is different. Jadi nasi dimakan oleh saya. Saya memakan nasi, nasi dimakan oleh saya. Itu hampir sama meaningnya, but it's different. Now we talk about the passive. And all of, all of the passive use verb three in all of the tenses. Now we are more specific, talk about passive with prepositions. We have present continuous passive and present perfect passive. Present continuous passive, like the air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. And which, which is the preposition? The preposition here is written by the word by and followed by the, the, the word. And then next, like the preposition, like as a result of or due to stroke because of. So passive with preposition. Why we need preposition? Because we want to know uh, what happens? Jadi ingin tahu apa sih masalahnya? Contoh udara di apa namanya tercemar, oke? Okay. Di, udara dicemari oleh oleh asap dari kendaraan dan dan trucks. Nah ini maksudnya di situ with prepositionnya. Oke, okay, now we are going to listen uh, about the grammar focus. Here we go. Page 45, exercise 3, grammar focus. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Potholes aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. Present perfect passive. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced because of overcrowding in city shelters. Okay, that's all about passive. We can make it very strong understanding of our grammar. You can visit our book in page 45 and you may answer the question in part A, part B, and part C in your own book. Okay, thank you. Now. You can do by you yourself at your home. Then we go to the next is pronunciation. Now we are going to learn about how to pronounce rejection of auxiliary verbs. And after this, we are going to listen. And we have to notice how the auxiliary, the auxiliary like is, am, are, has, and have, are reduced in conversation. Okay, reduce means that tidak di bunyikan secara uh, jelas. So, we are going to listen very carefully. Here we go. Page 46, Exercise 4, Pronunciation. Reduction of Auxiliary Verbs. Part A. Listen and Practice. 
Notice how the auxiliary verb forms is, are, has, and have are reduced in conversation. Fresh water is being wasted. Newspapers are being thrown away. Too much trash has been created. Parks have been lost. Okay, if you do not find that the auxiliary was reduced, so you can repeat this listening again, and then how do we pronounce the reduce of the auxiliary verbs? Like fresh waters being what? So we don't have to say very clear the auxiliary, like fresh water is being washed. So we can probably use fresh waters being washed and newspapers are being thrown away. So there is some of the word like fresh waters being washed. So the word I was reduced. So there is uh, when we you watch the our my slide, okay, there is a sign like this. So it means that we don't have to spell the I like newspapers, newspapers are being thrown away. Too much trash has been created. Parks, parks have been lost. And then you can uh, pronounce the reduction of auxiliary verbs many times to find the good pronunciation. Okay, now we go to the next, we come back to listening again and talking about the environmental solution. Now you have to come to the box. There is three names. First is Jenny, Adam, and Katie. There is a problem. There are six problems here, but you have to find and give the check. For what is the problem comes to Jenny? What is the problem come to Adam and etc. And you have to also find what can be done about it. And you, we, you, you can repeat again uh, my video, then you can find how to solve each problem uh, comes to Jenny, Adam, and Katie. So uh, listen very carefully. Here we go. Page 46, exercise five, listening. Environmental solutions, part A. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Check the problem each person talks about. One, Jenny. Wait, don't throw that out. Why not? Recycle it. I've been reading a lot about how much trash we produce and what happens to all of it, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way to dispose of trash is by burying it in landfills, land that could be used by farmers to grow food and other things. The problem is that in many countries, the dumping areas have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. Of course, no one wants trash buried in their neighborhood, but it has to go somewhere. So what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. However, Many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. 2. Adam I love my new phone, but I don't know what to do with my old one. It's so outdated. I know I shouldn't just throw it away. Well, you're right about that. Not disposing of electronic devices and other appliances properly is a huge problem these days not just here, but all over the world. Many people don't know what to do with their old phones, computers, video game systems, TV sets, refrigerators. There are dangerous chemicals in these products, and they have to be handled in the right way. So what are we supposed to do? Well, e-waste is not going away. With all the new technology these days, there's more e-waste than ever before. The solution is just to dispose of it responsibly. The good news is that there are more and more e-waste processing centers where professionals take these products and separate them into their various parts. Many of the parts can be reused, of course. 3. Katie You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. 
You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve, but basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Okay, so that's all about our listening. There is a problem and also the solutions when they have so, uh, short conversations. So you have to fill all of the blanks in the box to find what is the problem and also what is the solutions. So if you cannot find it for the ones, you can repeat many times with, uh, with the video for this listening. Okay, after you fill out all of the answer and you can next, go to the next, this is our, our, our last. Uh, we talk about the word power with the theme word problems. Okay. Uh, how concerned is your partner about these problems? Check his or her answer. The problems is the first is talk about the cancer, drug trafficking, famine, global warming, government corruption, inflation, overpopulations, political unrest, and the last is poverty. Which one is very con concerned, fairly concerned, and not concerned? So it uh, it's depends on you yourself, but I think these problems also happens in our country. So we can compare this problem to our country in Indonesia, and then which one is the very concerned about you. So you can uh, talk about with your partners, but for today, I think uh, you can skip and ask by you yourself. Okay, so that's all for our class for today. If you still do not understand about some of the topic or maybe some of you need, uh, don't be hesitate to contact me by uh, WhatsApp and then we can give some of more discussions. Also, thank you for our class for today. So let's close our program this morning by reading Hamdalah together. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. And doa kafir majlis, subhanakallahumma bihamdika, ashadu ala ilaha ila anta, astagfika wa tubi like. And last I say, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you for next time and have a good day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.